Leah, what's it like playing in Manchester Cathedral? Um, it's really nice. The acoustic is just really beautiful and sharing my music with people is just the best thing. How do the audiences react? Um, well, I guess they enjoy it and I hope so because I work hard to make my music as nice for everyone to listen to. And it has a reason other than just entertainment, hasn't it? You're raising money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's great to be able to um, have a cause and an effect of my music so I can, you know, put it to a useful... Because it's going to a homeless cause, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And what's your fa who's your favourite composer? Um, well, Sibelius Violin Concerto. It's one of my favourite works for violin. It's really great. I hope one day that I'll be able to play it. Well, we set up these concerts nearly 20 years ago now, um, really for two reasons, three reasons. We firstly felt that we have this fantastic building right next to the school, and of course we have a relationship with the cathedral, but we weren't actually performing in here other than the occasional orchestral concert. So we felt it would be a wonderful idea to have a series of lunchtime concerts for the uh, public of Manchester, workers, shoppers, retired people. And we also felt that the middle school students of the uh, school were not really having a lot of opportunities to do a lot of solo performing. A lot of the little ones at that time were going out doing um, lots of concerts outside because they were cute and, uh, and, and had their own uh, attraction like that and some of the older sixth form students were going out because they were the young professionals and the poor students between the age of 13 and 16 were not doing so much so we actually set them up for the middle school students it was going to be their concerts in the cathedral and then the third reason was that we felt it would be lovely to support what the cathedral was doing with the Booth drop-in centre for the homeless which at that stage was uh, housed in the crypt underneath so we decided that we would set these concerts up, call them music for a while after the great Purcell song, and uh, raise money, have a retiring collection for the Booth drop-in centre. And what we've always done is, is have the collection and it goes straight, it used to go straight down to them, cash for them to use and supply uh, food and equipment for the, the homeless in Manchester. They've now moved out. Um, but we still send the collection up to them. And since then, the, the concerts have grown, um, and uh, we now actually include students from across the age group of the, of the school. And what type of music do you play? We tend to uh, have solo performances with one of the five staff accompanists that we have at the school. Every student in the school is allocated their own staff accompanist who they work with for all their concerts and competitions. So we tend to have maybe a group of four students, four individual students coming and playing perhaps a programme of ten minutes of solo repertoire with one of the staff accompanists. And what kind of music can we expect? It's classical music. It's the mainstream, um, and not so mainstream sometimes, uh, violin sonatas, trumpet show pieces, all sorts of things like that. And then from time to time um, in the series we have concerts which are just for solo pianists, so our solo keyboard students come and, and give a concert as well. And Brenda, what would you say to somebody who says, well, classical music isn't really my type of thing, I don't really listen to classical music, it's very nice, but it's not for me. What would you say? I'd say come and listen. Because the audiences that we've had in the Music for a While concerts have just grown and grown. When we started them off, um, I, I actually set up this, this series uh, 20 years ago. And when we started them off, I went round myself with um, flyers to all the banks and shops and went out for the first concert thinking maybe nobody would be there. And there were about 20 people there, which was fabulous. And then we thought, well... What about concert number two? Maybe there'll be nobody. But then there were 20 people and 30 people. We now get very often up to 100 people because people come along, probably not knowing any of the music, but they love seeing the young people perform, for one thing, and they realise that actually this music is just, it's just fabulous and it's a lovely way to spend 40 minutes in the middle of the day to listen to young people who are just so gifted in the way that they can play and in the way they present the music. So your message would be, give it a go. Give it a go, come along. And it's a lovely collaboration between Cheatham's and the Cathedral and at the same time raising money for the homeless people in Manchester.